you continue to follow that breaking news, police are investigating the death of a 16 year old Central Dolphin High School student. Our Taylor Tasha joins us live now in Laura Paxton Township, Dolphin County with the very latest. Good afternoon, Taylor. Good afternoon, James. We are outside Central Dauphin High School where Justin Johnson was a 10th grade student. He came to the district two years ago, was set to try out for the football team this spring, and we're told he loved going to school. Now, Justin's dad spoke to our Allie Lanyon and says Friday night, three young men who Justin told him were members of the football team showed up at their home on Bianca Drive. Orville Johnson says he was at work but was talking to his son on the phone. Ring doorbell footage at the house shows Justin going outside. Lower Paxton Township Police say in the video it appears Johnson is being chased, but says that is not the only video that is out there, and they're taking a look at all video evidence. Video also picked up racially insensitive language. Justin later came inside and told his father over the phone he was having a hard time breathing. Orville tells us he came home and found his son face down on the floor. Justin had sickle cell disease and was not supposed to exert himself. He was taken to the hospital where he later died. Police say this is an ongoing investigation and are taking a look at every bit of information that comes in. The name of the boys in the video have not been released. At this point, no one has been charged. The death of a, of a juvenile, of a child, um, somebody so young, is always extremely tragic and really does draw the attention of the public um, anytime something like that occurs. And just as we are doing everything that we can to provide the answers as to why it did occur. I just allow the police department to continue their investigation and be patient as we bring facts and information for the community and bring answers as to why this occurred. Central Dolphin School District released a statement saying, in part, we understand that the circumstances around Justin's death have not been determined. However, there are social media reports that indicated that Justin was subjected to racial insensitivity from classmates. Please understand that this type of behavior is not consistent with our core values. We are aware of the social media posts and are cooperating with local law enforcement. And Jameson autopsy is scheduled tomorrow on what would have been Justin's 17th birthday. Reporting live outside of Central Dolphin High School. Taylor Toshev, James, we'll send it back to you. Yeah, just an incredibly sad story. So Taylor, even the school statement there mentioned a big component of this is this story is really spreading on social media. Did the school say anything about, you know, what they're doing right now? Are they having counselors available for, for students there to talk with about the death of this fellow student? Yeah, James, there are counselors available. The district encouraging students who want to talk to reach out to talk to someone. Um, and like you said, you know, a lot of reports on social media. A lot of people in the community um, are really talking about this story and, and really want to know what happened, James. Absolutely. Still waiting for some answers. All right, Taylor Toshev live there in Laura Paxton Township. Thank you very much for that. And as Taylor mentioned, our Allie Langan spoke with Justin's father this morning who talked about the death of his son. He is understandably devastated. The last time I looked at my child was on the ground. I don't want to see him. I can't. I don't know how to do it. His birthday is tomorrow. And we will be following this developing story throughout the day. We'll also have more of Ali's interview with Justin's father tonight on ABC 27 News at 5.